Brandon from Yankee Bees. Uh, making a quick video to show you the vacuum that I use and uh, I built. And uh, I had an old vacuum. At one point, it was one five gallon bucket with a hole put in the side. I had a cage that sat down the top. Uh, just made out of, at the first one was actually made out of screen and uh, wood. And the hole on the side, I would put a vacuum right over there, a yellow one. I would put the vacuum hose right in the side here and it would create the suction to pull down into it. And then in the lid, I would have a hose that the bees would go into the hose and into the cage. The problem with this is it filled up really quickly. It wasn't long before the bees congregated all over the sides and there was no suction. So I looked online, Google and YouTube and a bunch of different uh, vacuums that people were making and a lot of people I saw used a uh, 10 frame deep and I liked that idea but I wanted something that's a little bit lighter so I built this. Uh, I really ended up liking this design. It's light. If I need to, I can carry it up a ladder with me. And uh, it's made out of two five-gallon buckets with the bottoms cut out. I fiberglassed it together on the bottom here. And then uh, I used a, actually I used a two-inch uh, fiberglass tape. And it's just fiberglass cloth that's two inches wide. And uh, I wrapped it around three times with some polyester resin. And then on top of that, I sprayed it with uh, Flex Seal just to get the roughness out of it a little bit so it'll catch itself in the fire glass. And then on top here, we've got a bucket head. It's a wet, dry vacuum. I paid like $22, $23, something like that for it at Home Depot. I modified it a little bit. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I can get it off here. I cut off the bottom. It comes down about here and it's got the filter and all that stuff like that. So I ended up cutting all that off. And then I used a hot knife to press it all down. And the reason I did that is to add extra space in the actual vacuum. I then took a hose. If I remember correctly, I bought the hose at Walmart. But it's just... Uh, it, it, I think I bought it in the marine section at Walmart actually. It's for a bulge pump. But anyways, I cut a little piece of that on there and uh, glued it up in there and what that does is it creates a suction here and pulls the bees through here so you look down in here you've got the cage and that hose that I just showed you right here goes down into that hole whenever it fills up with bees where you're not getting suction anymore you can lift it up smack it down open it up and slide this closed. The bees can no longer get out. At that point, you can pull it out. It usually takes two hands. You pull it out, and you've got a cage of bees. And then you can just swap out the cage and use three, four, or five cages if you need to. On the other end here, I started using some scrap parts, an old boat tore apart, uh, and then I used a hinge and a lock over here so you can lock it. I made it open to where almost the whole way around uh, is the door. That way, um, when you shake them out, all the bees come out. The uh, previous one I built had a door that was like this big, and it really made it hard for the bees to come out. So this design is way better than the other one. So, but you put that in upside down. You can also flip the bucket over and take it out from the bottom. So, but I set it in there upside down. Like so. So then you've got, you know, that top sits in there. And, you, and it comes with a hose, that bucket lid. What I ended up doing there is I took a 20-foot pull hose, an old one, and uh, I took a piece of that hose that it came with and I cut it off and shoved it in here and glued it. That way, 
it slides right on in that hole. So everything lines up, everything fits, and it works great. It doesn't kill a lot of bees. Very, very little, especially compared to my other one. Uh, even, I can't believe it with the 20 foot hose, I thought I was gonna have problems, and I don't. It works wonders. So, and it takes forever to fill up. I have done some big hives with this, uh, even though I've only done, you know, three or four cutouts since I built this. I mean, it, they were pretty big, and it just did not fill up. So, but if I do have a double cutout in a certain area or something, I can definitely switch out the cages. So it works out really good. But anyways, if you like my videos, then uh, like them, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.